to the goalkeeper. And Moses Jackson clears for the Gamecocks. If you're just joining us, this is the first quarterfinal match of the Chibuku Super Cup. And uh, it's uh, Chikadin who are leading by a goal to nil of Vangezi Platinum Stars. Brian Musa with a goal for the Gamecocks. Really worked well by Obrio Chirinda, who came on in the third minutes for Leroy Liston, who got injured. So far, so good for the Gamecocks. And they are in the driving set. But uh, the game has been played in a frantic pace. Temperatures high out here in Ngezi. So Chirinda looks like uh, he's going to shake it off with a little jog. So throw in quickly taken from the restart. Oh. Onto that far side. Looking to come up the cross, Denver Mkamba. And he's fouled. Free kick. This is happening in front of the referee. So good position for good ball heaters like Denver. Uh, if he can hit it swiftly, it's a good opportunity to restore parity here as they are trailing by goal to nil. We're approaching the 20th minute mark. Really important if Ngezi can get something as they are trailing by a goal to nil. So Mukamba, Mukamba is a goal! Stadium in Bulawayo. Looking for a return, but uh, too much. And that was Munashi. Pini, that far side. The 
there was just too much weight on that ball and he could not reach it. Songhezi Platinum Stars finishing second in group uh, four from those teams that were based uh, in Zishavane at uh, Mandala Stadium. Chaja with a clearance. Moses Jackson clears. Obreu Chiri looking for a return. But it's cleared emphatically there by Palad Moore. Donovan Bennett exchanging passes with Pasmo Bennett. No relation whatsoever. Pasmo Bennett. One man. Munashe Pini. Looking for a goal scorer. Brian Musa. Munashe Pini on the chase on that far side. As far as possible, Bennett. She can in, put him more pressure on that far side. Bennett. Over the halfway line. Still chicken in. Enjoying the line self possession. Munashi Pini. On the edge of that box. Can a cross come from that far side? Are trying to. But it's not that, but Munashi getting benefit of the doubt from the far side assistant referee. So free kick for the game, Cox. So let's see what they can do from this standard situation. 1 1 it is the first quarter final of the Chibuku Super Cup. Happening live uh, from uh, Barber Stadium right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network. So Bernard with that good, oh. good save by Nelson Chajga. As Ngezi are looking to get off uh, the alliance. But good play, power Govere now for the game. Cox looking for Chirinda. Knocks it down nicely, but he can't get returned. But it's a throw in halfway inside their own half, inside the Ngezi Platinum Stars half, rather. Govere. And Chirinda does well, shield the ball away. And it's cleared. The Devon Chapa leaves it. Chirinda. He was looking for a return there, but Chajga calling for the ball and offside. Says the near side assistant referee. So they will take it shot. And Bernard will clear onto that far side. Chicken in will come through once again. Moses Jackson calming things down at the back. Jackson. Devon Chaffa. Via the middle. Knocks it forward onto that far side, but it's cleared. Gazi win possession once more. Looking for Denver, the goal scorer. Marvelous Mukumba, late back to collapse. And the pressure to look for the goalkeeper. And Marvelous Mukumba turns well, spreading wide onto that far side, not forward. Still Ngezi. And Denver Mukumba can keep it down. Munashe Pini now, picking up the loose ball. Pini. Burns. Crossfield ball onto the near side. Finding Goveri over the halfway line. Ekes a space in front of him. Goveri. 
A cross would come and clear it. By Polite Moy. So Goyer will be looking to make a long throw on the near side. Takes it short now. And Brian Lewis at the goal scorer. Breaks free on the edge of the box. And short will come. Good shot. Equally good goalkeeping by Nelson Chachka. Dispatches. Long one forward and will go straight to his opposite number. Bernard Donovan. Soko Isaiah Kaseke. He was not in uh, the first 11 the last time Gezi Platinum Stars were on the pitch. That was their final good game at Mandela Stadium against FC Platinum. They lost that game by two goals to one. And in his place, it was Ario Makoba who is on the bench today. It's Gezi once again. Laid it to the near side. Good chance. But Jordan who comes to collect Paul Goen. Still But uh, Devon Chaffa will put this one out. Not forward. So that one will go all the way out to that far side. And it's a throw in to Gezi Platinum Stars. We've gone. Uh, Oh, slightly urging towards the third minute mark, and it's 1 1 between Gezi Platinum Stars and uh, Chicken Inn. 12th minute goal from uh, Brian Musa. That was Chicken Inn opening the scoring, then uh, Denver Mukamba 10 minutes later. Making sure that Tangezi are still in and uh, Palad Moy will clear onto that far side. Looking for Denver there, but uh, didn't really pick him up. So Moses Jackson will look to calm things down for the game Cox. Jackson knocks it forward. And Isaiah will clear. Isaiah Kaseke. The Chibugu Super Cup quarterfinals. Four matches being played this weekend. And this is the first quarterfinal. Chicken in. Taking on Gezi Platinum Stars. Later on, also live right here on Zim Paper Television Network, we've got uh, FC Platinum taking on Highlanders. Then tomorrow, two more matches. Cranbourne Bullets up against uh, Harare City, the first game at 11. Then the second one at uh, 3 p.m. It's Tyrus taking on the Bogisar uh, Black Rounders. So chicken in seeing a lot of these ex early exchanges here. But Ngezi always looking dangerous every time they are on the ball. Power good with the throw in on the near side. Looking for Munashe. Pini. But Goyer makes a mess. And it's a goal kick on the near side. As I will throw in. Oh, 
Bola Moniz, 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 and in the end, I uh, just went wide onto that far side. So what a break. So in case you're just joining us, uh, it's uh, Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum Stars one. Chicken in opening there, scoring through Brian Musa. But didn't really look harmless at all. It was Obriel Chirinda who came up with the cross from the near side. And he picked Brian. Unmarked inside the 18-yard box. And he picked his spot for the opening goal of this game. Then uh, 10 minutes later, it was uh, Denver Mukamba. From a standard situation, free kick. He was hacked down. Halfway inside the chicken in half and stood up, took the free kick and took it so well that uh, the chicken in goalkeeper Bernard Donovan didn't even move an inch. And what a way to equalize by the Gamecocks. So what a break done and Wanda Kalota says let's get back underway. So Tlakama and company still talking to the players because this was also an opportunity for them to yes hydrate but also re-strategize and make sure they plug all the holes there. seeing from uh, the touch line so game being played at a frantic pace and really exciting stuff out there on the park <laughs> on to the near side now looking for Nelson Ketal chips it forward looking for the goal score Onto the near side, Munasha Pini, a bit too slow. Didn't really anticipate that it was going to roll to him. So knocked forward by Polite, Moyo, and headed away by Nelson Ketal. Push on so Isaiah after that push he will look to take the free kick himself on the near side plenty of options up front headed away by Moses Jackson once again Obreo Chino Chase but can't keep him in play. Throw quickly taken by Denver. Kirtala with that clearance. He's been around for quite some time, past more Bennett. Played for motor action. So obviously he's got a very good outstanding with Joey Antipas. Work together, it's uh, motor action. <laughs> Even won a championship title there in 2010. So, Chile, no, this one for Passmo Bennett. Bernard takes it shot, looking for Brian Moose at the goal scorer. Kips 
possession and cross will come and hit it away. And not very far as uh, it's taken away by Bruno Tigo now. Onto that far side, setting up Denver. Mukamba cuts inside. Still, posting is Maka, but the final delivery not good enough. Power going. On to the near side, too much weight on the ball. To roll out a touch for Engezi throw in. And Isaiah Kaseke will come on this near side. He's playing as the right back. Monashe Pini. Looks up. Pini on the near side. He can't keep it playing. So another throw in to Ngezi Platinum Stars. 1 1. It is in this uh, Chibuku Super Cup quarterfinal match. Live uh, right here on Nazim Papers Television Network from uh, the Baobab Stadium. Devon Chafa and the Ketala will clear. Ketala and a pressure and uh, Bernard Donovan will look for Munashe Pini and uh, penalize there Munashe for shit talking and uh, Ata Isaiah Kaseke will take this Put it away by Ketal. Marvelous Mukumba. Spreading it onto the near side. Get a cross guard. Yes, it does. Danger. And it's a goal. Chicken in now looking for a way back before the halftime breather. So the referee blowing for that infringement, so it's going to be a free kick inside the halfway inside and gets the half. So already we have seen three goals. Chicken in scoring first three Brian Musa, Denver Mukamba, and Nyasha Chintuli scoring for. Ngezi. So we're going to see the first yellow card of the morning going to Devon Chafa. So you need to be very, very careful, Devon. Kudzai Chigrida looking for. Pasmo Bennett on that far side. Knocks it forward, but it's cleared. 
into that far side. But there's a bit of a fire there as uh, the fans excited as Nyasha Chintuli was again bearing down on that loose ball that was going towards Bernard Donovan. Power going. Tens well. Clive Zingai and spreading it wide onto that far side. Pass more Bennett on the edge of that box. Brett Amidu. Plays all the way back. Pablo Chirinda gets a return. Can a cross come? Fault. But uh, the referee says no, there's nothing there. So it's going to be a corner kick on that far side for the game Cox. So there is a problem with Ngezi uh, Platinum Stars player. We'll confirm in a minute who the player is. So the medics have been called in to attend to the injured player. She get in one, Ngezi Platinum Stars two. This is the action that we are bringing to you live right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network. So finally, the corner kick will come. Paul Goere nicely taken. And most Jackson connecting and uh, just missing. By a few inches there. Songezi. Not under any pressure as we slowly glide towards the halftime here at the Baalbek Stadium. The game that we are bringing to you live, the Chibuku Super Cup quarterfinals. This is the first one. And it's Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum Stars two. Brian Musa with uh, the Chicken in goal and uh, Denver Mukamba together with uh, Nyasha Chinturi getting the goals for Gezi Platinum Stars. Kuzai Chiguida looking for Obrio Chirinda with that flick. It was pass more Bennett. On the far side, we could not get to the end of that flick by Chirinda. So Kadamin with the throw in. He knocks it forward. Looking for Chituli is the up top man on the near side. And Bennett, who aided out on the far side, the throw, pick and take. Okay. So free kick on that far side. Remember what happened when they got a free kick? Denver Mukamba picked his spot from that standard situation. So it's always very tricky when uh, she can even give away set pieces in that region because there is Mr. Mukamba on that far side. He can give you a lot of options. He can uh, swing it, straight it, or can bring in the other players into play. So Mukamba looking for that uh, near post, but this time overheating it.
Shabbat with a long clearance. Muna Shepini via the middle. And pushed off the ball. Nelson Keta. Go ahead. Can you keep it in play? No, you can't throw it on the near side. Tungesi Platinum starts. Damage in a hurry to take this one. On the near side, Bruno Mutiko. Still Bruno looking for options. Taken away by Munashe Pini. In the middle of the park, Brave Amidu. He was looking for Brian Musa, but uh, Brett overheated. So two more minutes. We're going to play here at the Baobab Stadium. Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum stars two. The Chibuki Super Cup quarterfinals. Just sit down nicely and power going out, winning that duel. So going, plenty of options on the edge of that box. Beretu Amidu is there, Brian Musa is there, Munashe Pini as well, and Obrey El Chirina. He comes through and it's pulled over by. The Gezi Platinum Stars. <laughs> so taken quickly. The cross will come, but poorly done by Pasmo Bennett. Denver Mukamba. Playing it onto that far side. Bruno Tico. Left it. Tico! Clever play. Looking to lift it over the goalkeeper. Munashepini now. Can they get level just before the halftime breather? Oh, Chicken will be hoping that they do that. But that's the halftime whistle from uh, referee of this game. So 1-1 one, one it is at halftime. 2-1 it is. So it's Chicken in 1 and Gezi Platinum Stars at 2. Denver Mukamba and Nyasha Chintuli getting the goals for Gezi Platinum Stars. While wow, Brian Musa got the one for chicken in. So we'll see what uh, the second half brings. But uh, the Ngezi players still out there on the pitch trying to see if they can keep the momentum going when uh, they come back for the second half. But our time score chicken in one, Gezi Platinum Stars two.
4 May. Transforming men into gentlemen. For May, transforming men into gentlemen. Now, what can Dynamo uh, do from here? Chance, and it's a goal! Waddy turned well, Waddy still goes. Yeah! And it's there for Gat. Bill Antonio. Watching the couch on ZTN. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of CAF abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organizations ever. Certainly unmistakable. <laughs> Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> 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 Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated, yeah, when, you, when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24, yeah. you, you see, we also, I also played for Ghana and we won the league. Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshment. <laughs> Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs> Um, I think uh, Gaze has managed to solve the pressure. Uh, they managed to make sure that uh, their defense is uh, very well coordinated. They've uh, managed to thwart Aubrey because he's, he's the main threat uh, for Chicken in and uh, it has actually worked very well for them. Let's talk about that first goal that was scored by, by Brian Musa because I, I was looking at the two center halves, uh, Polat Moe and uh, uh, Brian Chiguida, and uh, they were just, uh, you know, standing there and uh, Brian Musa attacked the, the, that cross that came uh, from Obre Ochirinda from the near side. What was going on with the two cent halves? Uh, it's a case of sleeping on jute and uh, you can see that uh, okay, it happens uh, when it's uh, early, early minutes. Uh, you see, this was a goal from nothing. Obre just picked up from here 
went uh, past his marker and uh, a good cross. But the, the, the defender was supposed to close in on, on, the, on the striker, but they didn't. And he tipped it in nicely. Hmm. And just before before that goal came in, the game, the frantic pace that the two teams started with, and uh, look, the temperatures out here hovering around 33 degrees, 32 degrees, but uh, the players really coming to the party. I'm surprised how they can go on like this. Uh, it's so hot. That's why they are having a, 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 a water break here and there. And then um, they are still running like that. It, it, it's impossible. But I've seen, um, if you look at uh, the older players like uh, Devon Chaffa, I can see he's a touch uh, slower. You saw three times he was uh, slower to the ball and he ended up having a yellow card. I think um, Getty should have a look at that and maybe put someone who is uh, uh, younger and uh, quicker. Yeah, because uh, you know, I was looking at uh, probably the energy that uh, Brett Amidu is bringing to this game. And uh, you look at uh, the two defensive midfielders that Tangezi are using, uh, Marvellous Nukumba and uh, Devon Chaffa. For me, they are a bit too slow, you know, with a guy like Brett Amidu. But Chicken In are not using, utilizing that. Yeah, I think uh, for Chicken In, it's the final ball that's missing. Um, when they go into attack, you find they will, they will only have uh, maybe the men on the ball and one more or uh, one more player or two players. So because of that, it means that uh, they lack numbers up front. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, clearly Brett is on top of his game and is uh, getting the better of Devon. In case you're just joining us, uh, it's uh, Ngezi Platinum Stars who are leading chicken in and it's halftime here at uh, the Biobab Stadium. The first uh, quarter-final of the Chibuku Super Cup uh, and uh, yeah, some exciting game that we're witnessing here. We'll be right back uh, as we brace up for second half action. For May, transforming men into gentlemen. Now, what can Dynamo do from here? Chance, and it's a goal! Waddy turned well, Waddy still goes. Yeah! And it's there for Gat. Bill Antonio. Murwira. Oh, what a cracker! Let's celebrate with the Chibuku Super Cup matches live on Zim Papers TV Network. For May, transforming men into gentlemen.
second half action here at uh, the Baobab Stadium. It's uh, Chicken in one and Gezi Platinum Stars two going into the second half. Brian Musa opening the scoring for the Gamecocks and uh, Gezi equalizing through Denver Mukamba. Then Nyasha Chinturi making sure that they went to the halftime breather with the advantage. So now we are bracing up for and uh, that's a signal for us to get underway in this second half. So free kick on that far side. Wanda Kalota goes there to see what's wrong with uh, Isaiah Kaseke. So the medic, medics are just being called to make sure that uh, he's all right. And uh, watching on is uh, Obreo Chirinda. So those are some of uh, the scenes outside uh, the Baobab Stadium. So that was the, uh, well, the ground that was used by Gezi Platinum Stars before they gained promotion into the Premier Soccer League and also before construction of this magnificent stadium here where we are today. So yeah, the social game going on out there. That's where it all started from Gezi Platinum Stars. From that to this. So it looks like uh, Monash is right and uh, ready to continue. And a long clearance will come from Lana uh, Donovan knocks it forward on that far side. His chicken will be looking to get something early in this game. Munashi Pina pinned down on that far side and quickly taken the free kick. They were late onto the near side. Looking for options, Kadamin. And uh, Kada colliding there with uh, Musa. So Kada has remained on the deck and the guys with the magic touch assessing the situation. He's prone to injuries, Kada. I mean, he's had a near fantastic career, but because of injuries, things didn't really go according to plan. Played for Dynamos, played for Ghana's, and uh, during his team with Ghana's, Orlando Pirates sent some scouts, and Pirates were interested in signing Amini. But there was an under 23 national team game that was played at Rufaro Stadium, where the team, the whole team, played dismally, and the cadre was the skipper of that team. And with that went the chance of joining the Buccaneers down south. So he's been around for quite some time, Kadrami. So Kudzai Chiguida onto that far side. Moses Jackson now looking for power going. Munashapini calling for the ball. Plenty of options on the near side. Cross for ball. But it's cleared by Amini. Jackson, a bit too slow. Pass more Bernard now. Obreo Chirinda. He created that goal for the Gamecocks. Denver. Mukamba. Offside. On Chinturi. That but it was a flowing move from uh, 
continue in this game. It would be really a blow for Grodo Slekama if his skipper and left back can continue in this game. He's really done well on that left side of defense. So 50 minutes gone, she get in one Gezi Blackham stars too. So we see what options Ngezi have got on the bench. So the stretcher out there. So this looks rather serious. And Denver concedes the throwing. We'll be looking for a return. Bennett for the cross. Miss Kick Bay. Greta Mitu just crossing from uh, the blind side and uh, looking to sneak in, but uh, he miscued his efforts. And that's a poor, poor clearance by the Ngezi goalkeeper. And I'm looking for Shintuli there, already with a goal. Chirin gets a return. Looking for options on the near side. Bennett, Pasmo Bennett. Finds Kudzai Chigrida, turns well. Looking to spread it wide into that far side. Chigrida under pressure, but Chinturi hustling and they're conceding the free kick. Power going. Spread wide onto the near side. Pasmo Bennett once again. Chirinda hustling. And Chirinda breaks. Chirinda! Oh no. Free kick. Says the referee. In the meantime, Kadamin is going to be replaced by Wayne Makua. In coming just number 21, Wayne Makua. Out goes Kadamini, just number 23. So Wayne Makua comes in for Kadamin. Chaffa Chintuli looking for Mukamba. Tens well. Still Denver. Oh, nicely done by Mukamba. And the other side now getting the crowd excited. Remember, 2,000 fans allowed to come in provided they are vaccinated. That's what the Ministry of uh, Sports allowed in consultation with the Sports and Recreation Commission. Pasmo Bennett now for the Gamecocks. Go.
Kuzai Chiguida, who sprayed it onto that far side. Nelson Ketala. Munasha Pini. Can he come up with a cross? Well, rather took a tame shot at goal. Munasha Pini. Sporting uh, the ginger mohawk. Causing a lot of problems for Ngezi Platinum Stars on that far side. So 55 minutes gone. Chicken in one. Ngezi Platinum Stars two. Long clearance from Chajga. Pass more Bernard now. Over the halfway line. Aubrey Chilina knocks it forward. Free kick. Quickly taken onto that far side. Pini. Munashe. And his effort sells way over. Or maybe in a game of rugby. A conversion, maybe. Could have really worked well. So Nelson Chajga with this clearance. And Bennett. Oh, his legs can still carry him like this. Brett Amidu. Kudzai Chiguida onto that far side. Pini once again. Pini cuts inside a shot will come. Oh, he's tried one too many. Munasha Pini. And uh, so far without success. Later on at 3 p.m., there is also another game live right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network, also from uh, the Barbab Stadium. The second quarter final, FC Platinum up against Highlanders. Ngezi controlling things with Anaka Chivandiri. Mukamba spreading it wide onto that far side. Gets a throw in near the corner flag. Denver, every time he's got possession, gets the crowd excited. Not so sure if uh, the fans that are here are anything close to 2000 but surely Denver is really done well and uh, he scored a goal that brought Ngezi back into this game after Brian Musa had thrusted the game cocks in front Bernard Donovan with a clearance. Marvelous Mukumba. Amid. On to the near side. Pangezi will finally clear the alliance. New men. Wayne. Mukua. And Denver. Can keep it in play. Cuts inside. Cross onto that far side. And a shot will come from Devon Chapa. Well, rewind to five years back. Devon would have really fashioned something out with that shot. But of course, you know, with the edge, certain things you can't do. Denver will come. On the near side here. He's looking to set up an Elka Chivandire. Joey Antipas. Looking for a way back in uh, this game. Paul Moore earlier saying that uh, he's a strategist, so 
We'll see what strategy he's going to come up with. Boy Makua, and uh, it's cleared. I got it. Kazai Chiguita. Does well, under pressure. So an hour gone in this game. 60 minutes. And it's chicken in one. Gezi Platinum stars two. As chicken in want to make a double substitution. One of them is George Majiga. He's been around for some time with uh, the Gamecocks. Power go with the cross. Not good enough to travel the team they call Madamburo, Gezi Blackham Stars. Pasmo Bennett driving it on this wing. So yellow cards to Anelka Chivandiri. So it's a substitution. It's going to be done now. George Majiga getting ready to replace Brian. So Munasha Pini is down his spots. In comes just number 72. So Malvin Gaki. Also introduced for Brett Amidu. So what let's see what uh, these guys can do. And guess he also wants to make a change. Wellington Taderera. Getting ready to come on. And we know in a bit who is going to be replaced by the man they call Weja. Attacking midfielder, Wellington Taderera. So that's a clear indication that Zakama uh, has no balls. Corner kick for chicken in. So Tadere finally get a chance to go in and Anelka Chivandide makes way for Wellington Tadere. So Wellington Tadere for Mali with the uh, black brands. And I am oh my word. There was a chance there. For Brian Musa, initially it was a header, then uh, he could not pick his spot, Brian Musa, but we're already sitting on a goal. He scored the first goal of the match, Brian Musa. Disappointed that he failed to get his second day. This is what happened. Get it downwards. And Chiri that could not direct his efforts. Musa cuts inside, spreading it onto that far side. Gaki. Go ahead, back to Gaki. Kozai Chiguida onto the near side. George Majiga, his first touch. Good ball, but equally good goalkeeping from uh, Nelson Chajga. Warriors trialist Chajga. And Bennett Donovan also a Warriors trialist. Ah, 
Mark he makes a mess, but Chibira cleans up the mess. Free kick. To Gaki. Pass more Bennett. Looking for George Majiga. I remember when Chikenin played in the CAF Champions League. And Kovere on that far side. And they played against uh, Mamelo Di Sanda, George Majiga, Edmo Chirambadari. Very, very good in that game. Wellington Taderera. So 65 minutes gone. It's uh, Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum stars two. George Majika, finding Kuzai Chiguida, spreading it wide onto power going on that far side. And a cross through ball again onto the near side. And uh, Mukamba collides. But Majika, oh, it's past my So, yeah, that was a race put by Denver Mukamba. So Patrick Allard are making sure that the, the wall is uh, at uh, the stipulated distance. There's plenty of options inside uh, that box for the Gamecocks. Burn it with a free kick. A shot will come. Hit it out of danger on that far side. Wellington Tadirera. Against George Majiga. Chigrida. On that far side. Moved on to hit the near side. And Majika on to Bennett. And corner kick for the Gamecocks. Prince Matoy, Gerard Dippus assistant. Wanted more on that occasion, but uh, unfortunately, the players could not produce what he wanted. The corner comes straight into the arms of Nelson Chajga. Songhezi taking their time to dispatch this free kick. They need driving seat, so shaving a bit of uh, time from uh, time that we've got for this match. Tedere a hack down on that far side. So free kick to Madame Buro. So remember, we've got another game later. FC Platinum taking one high latest. This is the second quarter final. We're also going to be live right here on uh, Zim Paper's television network.
So Ted Herrera wins the corner kick. Good play by the ginger head substitute from Gazi Platinum Stars. So when Makua will take the corner kick. 70 minutes gone, chicken in one, Gezi Platinum Stars two. Chibugu Super Cup quarterfinals. Too calm and uh, too deep, nobody on this near side. And Bernard Donovan takes it quick. Looking for Musa. Score of the first score for Chiganin, George Majiga. Udobreo Chirinda. Gaki turns, finds Majiga. Majiga onto the near side. Bernard can cross finally come. Yes, he does. Oh, my word. Just went past the face of goal. Musa under pressure. Could not do anything. They come back once again. Chicken in. Chirinda. And it's cleared. Jackson makes a mess. Mukama. Looking for Chafa. The poor ball. Kaki now. Kaki! Well, looking to place his effort, Marvin Kaki. Think a bit of uh, power would have done. But look. I think a bit of uh, power, yes, but uh, you need also to hit the target. Force save from the goalkeeper, at least. Tomorrow there are two more games. Kremlin Bullets up against Harare City. That's the first game at 11. Also live here on Zimbabwe's television network. And also being played here at the Balmain Stadium. Then at 3 p.m. Dynamos, who checked the field against Black Rhinos. As Chicken in, still probing. Chafa, penalized. He needs to be very, very careful. Devon Chafa, he's sitting on a yellow card. So the Black and Stars looking to get a war going. Patrick Kalota says you need to retake it. Beat him once this afternoon. Nelson Chajga. Chiguida. Kitala and to Jackson. Looking for Goen on that far side. Goen. The cross can come from Goen. Yeah. You gotta hydrate yourself, Mr. Antipas. Cross comes and it's cleared. By Wayne. Makua. Moses Jackson, one of the oldest members of these uh, chicken inside. To three. So according to the records that we've got, Moses Jackson, 40 years of age. And he's still going strong. Denver Mukamba does well. Wayne McCool can't replicate what Denver just did. And that one will roll out. A pass no Bennett. Pick up the loose ball. Onto the near side, looking for Musa. He's got to contend with Kudzai Chiguida and uh, Kudzai. 
pushing and shoving and penalized by Patrick Calota. So 75 minutes gone. Chicken in one against the Platinum Stars two. So what a break for these two sides because of the temperatures that we are experiencing out here in Gezi. The players need to hydrate, rehydrate. But otherwise, uh, good game of football. The first half being played at a frantic pace, got three goals from the first half. The second half hasn't produced any goals, but equally as good. So this also affords uh, Joey Antipas, Prince Matore and company an opportunity to talk to their players, including their 40-year-old skipper, Moses Jackson. The match officials also need uh, the hydration as well. So it's the same gospel that's being preached. We need to play well, gents. We need to get to the semifinals. Remember, 75,000 US dollars up for grabs in the Chibuku Super Cup. Of course, it will be given in RTGS dollars at the exchange rate of the day. So the bank rate for that particular day when the tournament is done. So an equivalent of 75,000 US dollars who get to the winner and $50,000 for the runners up. Pashmo Bennett takes a shot onto the near side. George Majika. But it's taken away by Taderera and Denver McCarthy knocks it forward. Good goalkeeping though. Oh my word! Makes a miss on that far side. Taderera. Wellington. Finding Devon Chaffa. Chaffa. Tadira on that far side. And uh, Isaiah Kaseke toying around with possession. And hack down by Gaki. So free kick from that far side. Time slowly taken away for Joy Antipas and his charges. So this is what happened. Chopped down there by Gaki. Bit of frustration creeping in. A shot will come through. Get the second part of the challenge. for Bruno. He's sitting on six goals already in this tournament. And he's still hungry for more. Though he hasn't hit the back of the net in this game. So Nelson Chajga under no pressure and uh, he is just taking it easy. So throwing on that far side. Looks like Ngezi Bladham Stars players are not interested in going to that far side to take. The free kick. So they've got plenty of options on the edge of the box. Plenty of white shirts. That is. But this one finding a red shirt. Denver. Great strike for goal! Oh my word. Talk about players being gifted. This one has got a gift, Denver Mukamba. Got a goal. Look at him. 
knows exactly what he's going to do with the ball. And he's taking the corner kick. So 10 minutes to full time here. Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum stars two. 10 minutes for Gaki and company to find an equalizer and possibly a winner. But not with play like that. And the chase is Chintuli. But this time, he found an alert Bernard Donovan. Looking for George Majika. And Wayne McCoy. Wayne Makua just playing it out and Kuzai Chiguida now will spread it onto Boyd on that far side. Pow. Get it away by Devon Chapa. So both teams really playing well in the group stages. She getting brought to these quarterfinals. They never lost a game. Well, as for Gezi Platinum Stars, they lost their final group game to FC Platinum by two goals to one. But for Chicken In, three draws and three wins. And there are six group games. Polite more, anywhere we'll do at this particular moment. Part of the crowd. Hopefully they're all vaccinated. As per the stipulation of the Sports and Recreation Commission and the Ministry of Sports. Pass more Bennett. He gets a return, Bernard. It's taken away. On that far side, Madame Buro looking for a way. Pass Moses Jackson. Onto that far side, Bruno Mtigo finding Denver. Mukamba. Two exciting players from Gezi. Well, penalized there. So we're going to see a double change by. Ngezi Platinum Stars, Keith Murera. He's going to be coming on together with Valentine Gadonjo. So Denver Mukamba makes way for Valentine Gadonjo. So Keith Murera also on the touchline getting ready to come on. We'll see in a bit who he is going to be replacing. Moses Jackson. So corner kick. Chicken in. And finally, we're going to see Keith Murera making his way to this game and uh, Devon Chapa. I think this is a good throw from uh, Rodro Sakama and company. Chafa sitting on a yellow card. You want to make sure that uh, you don't. Give anything away. So he 
gets the crowd excited and the jewelry become exciting. So danger there looking for Gaze of Bottom Stars. They concede a throw 85 minutes gone. Joey Antipas is not happy. He's hoping that the next five minutes, of course, plus time in the run, will be good enough to keep his team in the tournament. But so far, he doesn't point to that. Poorly done in the end. He had really done well. Kudzai Chikwida looking uh, to put it in that final third. How good. Laid all the way back to the goalkeeper. So chicken in on the their road to the quarterfinals, beat Blau a city by two goals to nil. This was their first game. Then they drew goalless with Highlanders, beat Blau a chiefs by three goals to nil. Played Blau a city again and they won by two goals to one. Two goals to nil and uh, they drew one one with Highlanders and uh, they also drew one one with Blau a chiefs. Three goes to one. Denver Mukamba getting a brace in that game. Marvelous Mukumba also getting uh, one. They played Wawa. They won by three goals to nil. Valentine Kadonjo getting a brace and Denver Mukamba getting uh, the third one. And um, they beat FC Platinum by two goals to one. Bruno Mutigo getting both goals. Then uh, in the reverse fixture against Triangle, it was a 2 0 draw. And uh, against Wawa. 5-1, they were emphatic winners. And in their last game, they lost by two goals to one to FC Platinum. So is it time to shut shop Fungesi Platinum Stars? Bruno Tigo onto the near side. Oh, poor shot. Coming through from uh, Valentine Cardozo. Formerly with chicken in. The cross will come and uh, easily dealt with by Madame Buro Cardozo. Pasmo Bennett. Obreo Chiri. Looking for. Gaki on the near side. Gaki he hasn't really given anything to the team. Well, he's done now. That free kick. Show the change. Mutatiwa on the touchline. Mutatiwa. So he came on. There's the second half substitute in the game. Yeah, that says a lot about the team, though. Charge guy. Going airborne to collect this one. I don't know if we talk about uh, Gaki. Is very unlucky. Oh, he was just not playing according to the coach's instruction. Came on deep in the second half. And now, making way again for Nikom Tatio. Thank <laughs> you. 
So let's see how many more minutes we're going to play. Hold on, the referee's time at it on. It's 90 minutes by our clock. And it's chicken in one, Gezi Platinum stars two. So let's see how many more minutes we're going to play in this game. And if it's enough for chicken in to get something from this game, four minutes. Four minutes, minutes of time. We're going to play here. Four minutes of at time. the Barb of Stadium. Four minutes. Fungesi Platinum starts to hold on in four minutes for Chicken in to find an equalizer and possibly a winner. But with the way things have been going, Joey Antipas will need a miracle to get a positive result from this game. Or to even get anywhere near that $75,000. The winner's check at the end of this uh, tournament. Don't forget the Castle Laga Premier Soccer League getting underway next weekend, the weekend of the 6th of November. And uh, the PSL Chiefs using this tournament as a precursor to the league program, changing the format from the previous years. So it's a bit changed this time around. So Wellington Tadera colliding there with uh, Nelson Kitai. So that was the clash there between Kitana and uh, Tadera. And Wellington Tadera getting the yellow card for his troubles. Bernard's pass one. Cleared. As Chiganin are throwing their last dice. They need to be organized at the back. The road roads are coming charges. As any mistakes will be very, very difficult to deal with at this stage. But for Joey Antipas, well, that face says it all. I think that's a sign of resignation that, uh, look, it's done. We tried our best, but uh, probably was just not good enough. Wellington Tadirina. Bruno Tigo turns well in the center circle. But uh, the delivery not good enough, as that was Mr. Jackson, Moses Jackson. Kuzai Chiquida. Onto that far side. So the four minutes almost up. Moses Jackson. Pass more bit. Last throw of the dice from the game Cox. And Bruno Tigger. Who aid in the clearance of this. So chicken in scoring first through Brian Musa, then Denver Mukamba equalizing from Gezi. 
with the wonderfully taken free kick. <laughs> then uh, Nyasha Chintuli towards the halftime break, getting the second one for Madame Buro. So in the end, nothing much coming from uh, Chicken Inn in terms of resistance. And it's just finished 2-1 uh, in favor of Madame Buro. So first quarter final done and dusted. And Gezi slowly marching towards the, that 75,000 US dollars winner's check. Denver Mukamba with a wonderful free kick that of course became the winner. So those are some of the fans really excited. And the first team into the semi-finals of the Chibuku Super Cup, Gezi Platinum Stars. Well, not so sure, was it the home advantage? Or, but otherwise, Chicken Inn in the first half, really playing good football. Always causing problems whenever they were attacking. But they just didn't have the firepower. So Valentine Cardonzo sharing a jock with his former coach, Joey Antipas. Joey Antipas beaten this afternoon. But he will tell you that uh, for the league, he is ready. And uh, he has seen from the group stages up to this stage, he has seen what his team can offer and what's in store in terms of the league program. So up next is the second quarterfinal, FC Platinum taking on Highlanders. Another crack of a game. Live right here on Zimbabwe Television Network. So the first one done and dusted. Well, going to salute the fans. This is the first, eh? Because uh, of COVID-19 restrictions, the first time that we're seeing fans coming to watch football. And of course, the first time that they are going really to salute the players, going to salute their fans. So we are ready to go to the touchline. Chiroma Nua is uh, on standby to talk to the two coaches and uh, our men of the match for this game. And also, we'll then look ahead to the second match of the afternoon as we wrap up this game. So, Result here at the Balboa Stadium in the first quarter final. Chicken in one, Gezi Platinum Stars two. Let's go down to Chido Manua, who's on the touchline. has taken our proceedings and messages into Platinum Stars 2. So, now I'm joined by Coach for Ngezi Platinum Stars, Rodwell. Right, Coach, first of all, congratulations. That was a great match there from your boys. Yeah, thank you very much. So, what I have to say is that you're, you're going through to um, the semifinals and um, you seem pretty set. I think you guys look pretty good. What do you have to say to your boys going forward into the semifinals? Uh, the message is still the same. We need to remain focused. Uh, uh, winning the quarterfinals is not winning the, the cup. Uh, the idea is to make sure that we go all the way to the, uh, the finals and win it and uh, win it for our fans. So it's game on. We just need to focus and uh, make sure that we leave no stones unturned, uh, no bush and scant going forward. Great. Well, I've got a very, very big question. First of all, Chicken in scored very early goal. That looked good for them. But your boys quickly gave a quick response. What was that? What, what was the, the, the secret there? 
No, uh, leading is not winning the game. We told the boys to keep on uh, fighting, to keep on uh, keep on the momentum. Uh, we managed to come back and we managed to uh, score the winning goal and won the game. Uh, good for the boys, good for the team going forward. That's great. And lastly, you, we are here. Baobab Stadium, this is the home for Ngezi Platinum Stars. Do you think that's one of the big reasons why you guys won this match against Chicken Ninja? We played uh, a lot of games away in Mandava and won most of our games there. Uh, I think we are just a good team and we can win anyway. Okay, that's so great. All the best um, with everything and congratulations once again. Thank you, Coach. Thank you so much. That was Coach Rodwell telling us that wherever they play, they are going to just do well. So that it wasn't a matter of um, a home advantage. Now I'm also joined by Coach for Chicken Inn. Coach Joey Antipas, right, Coach? Um, that was a very early goal there from your boys, and then they allowed um, an equalizer from Gezi Platinum Stars and an eventual um, winning goal from Gezi. What do you think went wrong with the defense? What happened at the back there? Yeah, um, we started off very strong. We had a good uh, 10, 15 minutes. We got our goal. Then uh, we just like took our foot off the pedal and we made elementary mistakes which should have been avoided. Uh, we all, I talked to the boys about set pieces and um, Denver, I must give him his credit, brilliant set piece. Mm -hmm. And um, second goal again from another free kick. So we just need to get ourselves organized and try and not make uh, too many basic elementary errors that we did. That con that uh, cost us the game. But um, I thought we matched Ngezi, especially the second half. I thought we should have walked away with the game. We created numerous chances which we didn't put away. And the game of football, if you don't put your chances away, you're done. I hear you mentioned Denver. Um, Denver really did put, um, he really did make your men sweat. He was doing some things. Did you guys have a prior plan beforehand to contain him? Yeah, we talked about Denver. Denver is the playmaker of the team, and uh, Denver is the type of player he drifts in and out of the game, but when he drifts in the game, he's very dangerous. And uh, I thought he did well, but I thought that we should have put more pressure on him. And. Um, if we had done that, it would have been home and dry, but it's a game of football. Yeah, you win it some, is. you win some. We just got to go back and try and cut out these elementary basic mistakes that we're making. Of course, like yeah. you said, you win some, you lose some. Now we're going into PSL next week. Um, now you're out of the Chibuku Super Cup, unfortunately. Uh, what do you have to say to the boys getting into this league next week? Yeah, well, it's now bread and butter issues, uh, league games. So we got to try and be consistent uh, because consistency is key in um, trying to challenge for the title. So we just got to try and be consistent in the league and pick up points where we can and do well. Okay, thank you so much, Coach. All the best in PSL. That was Joey telling us that um, his team needs quite a lot of organization. And they really did talk about um, Mukamba, but Mukamba did whatever he did. And now I actually have Mukamba with me right now. Yes, Mukamba. That um, that free kick that you scored, don't go to go and say, Re, Kanoti, you wanted to pass. No, uh, first I want to thank God because uh, he he's an uh, I'm magic, you know, <laughs> because uh, that free kick is very good. But I'm very happy to my teammates, play as a team. And then you come back, because chicken in, they were thinking of one, and then as you come back, equalize. So I'm very happy. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, if there's a no bad win, was the uh, last time Chibugu Ngezi play final and against the Islanders in Baba Field last time. So this time, uh, by all means, to the Yes, you promise. Was uh, if you if you see the job. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank All you. the best, Mkamba. Thank you so much. That was uh, Denver Mkamba telling us that whatever happened there on the pitch was magic and he did not um, anticipate it or plan to do whatever happened. So that is it. Full time here in Baobab Stadium. Um, chicken in one. Ngezi, Platinum Stars 2. Um, please do stay tuned. We are going to be talking to, um, to you regarding the game and telling you more uh, about what exactly happened there.
for May. Transforming men into gentlemen. For May, transforming men into gentlemen. Now, what can Dynamo uh, do from here? Chance and it's a goal! US dollar winners check in this tournament. Of, of course, uh, that place uh, to represent Zimbabwe in the CAF Confederation Cup. On the touchline, I'm joined by Mo Moyo as we look back at this match. What was probably Chicken In supposed to do to get maximum points or to get that berth into the semi finals? What were they supposed to do? Look, at halftime, it was 2-1. Full-time, 2-1. Looks like uh, Madame Buro did it all in the first half. Yeah, um, and also, Chicken In tried. Uh, all in all, I counted about six chances where they were getting there um, as close as possible to the goal, but there's no one who is finishing. There's no one who is finishing. It's, uh, it's really sad. Um, the other time, you saw Marvin Gaki coming on, why? Because uh, the coach wants speed and somebody who can get into the box. He's not the Marvin Gaki of old. He was taken off. I I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. In the box, there's only Musa, the guy who scored the first goal. Why is there no support from uh, the, other, the, other, the other players? A cross comes in. If it misses Musa, there's no one else to tuck it in. No one at the near post, no one at the far post. So they really need uh, somebody who can finish. But in terms of play and possession, throughout the match, it was chicken in. Chicken in throughout the match, is that what you think uh, at warm as well? Uh, do you concur with what Mo is uh, saying here? Uh, look, uh, I saw it otherwise, uh, but look, you are the expert. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, uh, I saw a lot of um, players that have been around in the Premier Soccer League. Uh, you played with Pasmo Bennett. Mm -hmm. You played against uh, Moses Jackson. Mm -hmm. Look at 40 years still mashling the chicken in defence like that. And uh, in the second half, if the, Madame Buro failed to even uh, breach that defence, well, you might say they, they had already done their business in the first half, but look, when you've got a 40-year-old, not taking anything away from Moses Jackson, <laughs> but uh, when you've got a 40-year-old and you're failing to breach that defence, I think uh, the defense of uh, what, I, uh, what do you call it, uh, chicken, chicken in, in they, they did a good job. They did a very, very good job. And Moses Jackson, for your own information, I saw him chasing up uh, 
um, one of the strikers there. He's, he, he still has it. I think he's taking very good care of himself. Uh, uh, the, the other thing is, um, if you looked at it uh, from uh, a chicken point of view, they were pressing high. They didn't allow Madamburo to play much. So Madamburo uh, looked at it and said, OK, we have done our business. We have scored our two goals. Let's just sit back, wait for them to attack, and just uh, thwart them. And they did it. They soaked up all the pressure, and it ended 2-1. Mm. So you look at probably the, the chicken in attacking trio, Obrio Chirinda, you know, going up and down. Munashe Pini, though later substituted, but, uh, you know, going up and down the wings. And then you've got Brian Musa, who got the first goal. Every time they had possession, you, you could see that uh, Madamburu were panicking. But that was just it. Nothing else. Yeah, like I said, uh, they lack the one who can finish there. Of course, uh, Brian scored the first goal, but he got another chance in the second half. You should, you should have buried it. And you, it was six yards from goal. How can you hit it over the bar from six yards? So, and if you look at Aubrey, he had a very, very good first half. But in the second half, he was neither here nor there. What, what lacks uh, a chicken in is numbers in the box. They can get there, but they don't have the numbers in the box when they get to... Uh, into the attacking tent. So if they work on that, and they also get um, a, a certified gunslinger, they should be able to. <laughs> <laughs> certified gunslinger? Yeah, they in should... the mold of Momo? No, not necessarily <laughs> me, but <laughs> if they get a, a certified gunslinger. How about, you know, I wanted to also talk about um, the, the men of the match. Yeah, we'll, we'll come yeah. To, to the men of the match, but the first uh, quarter final done and dusted here at the Baobab Stadium, and uh, it's uh, Ngezi Platinum Stars, the first team to book a berth in the semi-finals of the Chibuku Super Cup. Remember, 75,000 US dollars to the winners. Of course, it's going to be paid in RTGS at the prevailing rate of that particular day, the prevailing interbank rate for that matter. And of course, there is that added benefit of going to represent Zimbabwe in the CAF Confederation Cup. So, Madame Buro slowly marching towards that winner's check. Are they good enough? to go all the way and win the final. We'll get to see where, as the tournament uh, proceeds. But uh, let's talk about uh, what Madamburo did in the first half. The two goals they got. Denver Mukamba impeded. I think halfway inside uh, the chicken in half, he dusted himself up, took the free kick, and my, oh my, what a free <laughs> kick he took. Pick this spot, and Bernard Donovan in goal for chicken in did not even move an inch. Yeah, talk about a good free kick. That was a beautiful, beautiful free kick. But you know, when I when I talked to the chicken in guys before the match, they said if we take care of uh, Bruno Mtigo and Jennifer Mkamba, then we are done and dusted. But they did take care of Bruno Mtigo. They didn't take care of uh, Mbuki. So <laughs> he, he, he haunted them. He scored a very beautiful free kick. Uh, one of those free kicks that you you not see in these days. I think uh, these uh, free kicks that were last scored by the likes of Moses Chunga, even when we were playing, people uh, players never scored that, those kinds of free you kicks. You need to say we, 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 we failed know, to score I, goals I, I, like that. I, I was never a free kick taker. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was never a free kick taker, so I would never say that. But yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful free kick. And overall, he actually played very well. He's quite reserved. He knows when to use his energy. And I'm surprised he was actually chasing uh, he was also doing the business of defending. So he is coming up. And I think if he gets to 100% fitness, because I heard the coach saying he's not at yet uh, at 100%, if he gets there, he's one of those guys who would want to have in our national team. So, yeah, that's the story here on the touchline. Our first our quarter final of the Chibugi Super Cup and uh, finished chicken in one. Gezi Platinum Stars 2, the first team to book a berth in the semi finals. Don't go away. We are still here. We've got the second uh, quarter final and it's FC Platinum taking on Highlanders. Another big, big game. So, before we go, just, just briefly, that game, what are we expecting? Fireworks, I want. Still fireworks, but um, if you look at uh, their previous performances in the cup, uh, it tips it uh, on FC Platinum side because they managed to score 16 goals and Bosa has only scored four goals. Where are they going to get the goals today? It's very difficult. So, and uh, traditionally, the other time they played last time, uh, it was a Silas Songani show. I still remember they had BF 
and Silas Ungan is here again. So it's going to be difficult for. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be difficult for. for All right, so for that's Highlanders. that's the match that will be building up to FC Platinum taking on Highlanders. So stay with us, keep it ZTN. We are giving you the picture because we always say get the picture. But in terms of this first quarterfinal, done and dusted. Madame Bulo, Gezi Platinum Stars, the first team in to the semifinals of the Chibuku Super Cup 2021. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back 2.30 as we build up for the second quarterfinal. Thank you very much for joining us. Chibuku Super Cup 2021 was brought to you by Chibuku Super. Follow us on our social media pages at Chibuku Zimbabwe. Stay safe from COVID-19. Mask up, sanitize, buy your Chibuku and enjoy at home. Chibuku Super. Taste the goodness.